This is Greg Tingle reporting for Media Man Australia and Media Man International. We're at the world famous Bondi Beach Outdoor Gym. We've been talking a bit of the bodybuilding sports biz. Just finally uh, met up with Gabriel, probably read about him in um, Sports Illustrated or a Martial Arts Journal or something, but now we've met the bloke. Gabriel, what's going on? Tell us about, a bit about yourself, the training, um, just the whole um, beachside gym experience here in your martial arts. There you go, that's it, just coming to train. Here in Bondi, enjoy the sun, enjoy the beach. That's it. And what's your main um, what's your main discipline and who's who's king of the jungle here or who's a, are you aspiring what's going on like how do you rank and how do you work out who's going well and who needs to pick up their game um, uh, guys, how's your how's your training going at the moment I'm, I'm training well but the end of the year I don't have any plan I don't have any fight coming soon so just training giving classes like to be fit and do all your life you know? what's your main martial arts discipline for those who of us who don't know, could you tell us how um, how did you get your break into that, and perhaps your um, your toughest opponent, or if you've got one, and and where you see taking the martial arts career? If you can tell us a bit about that, is there a toughest opponent, or is it that, or is that yourself? Like Muhammad Ali used to say, the toughest yeah, opponent's yourself. Yep. And with the equipment here, what's your main preferred um, apparatus when you're working out? I like to do some pull-ups and yep. pin up. It's good, just keep fit and keep training. And that's it. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and where might we see you um, perform or fight next with your martial arts and combat sports? Where, where should we be looking out for? Um, you can look and running some class there in the middle of jiu-jitsu and another gym like in the city. It's called Bolt Boxing. You come, you are more than welcome to come and train with us. Thank you. And I might as well get your take on this. What did you think when um, people like your Ken Shamrocks of the world and Dan Severins, uh, it took them decades, um, but eventually they knocked off the Gracies back in the early days of the UFC. I mean, what happened there? Was it, that's just the evolution of the sport? Or did Gracie have a bad day? Or did, did Ken Shamrock and Dan Severin have their best? What happened there? Because the Gracies were so dominant for so many decades in that. I'm not rubbing salt into the wounds, I'm just asking the question. <laughs> yes. Everybody's going, like the martial arts getting to the next level. Yep. So everybody in training and what they, they had before, now I think they were having it. And so yep. and they training and like they're improving it, so just bring this better, you're getting to the next level. No, that's great. It's great to see all the disciplines coming together and you've got the mixed martial arts and the great um, sports, bodybuilding and martial arts community in Australia. So Gabriel, thank you very much. We appreciate it and keep training hard. Thank you guys, that's it.